our glasses on. You can hear the crowd cheering in the yes, background, got, and it is getting dark. We're getting close to Bailey Beach. Here we go. We're almost at totality. And you can see here the we go. Visitors, they're almost a diamond ring right there. And there we go. I think we're at totality. So uh, now you can take oh, you can take your glasses off. That is yeah, amazing. amazing. Listen to them. Oh, you can actually see the corona a little bit yeah. even through the clouds. That is incredible. Now, Dr. Kavande, you've, you've been in space. You've seen numerous sunrises and sunsets from the space shuttle. Yeah. How does this event compare? Oh, this is completely different than anything I've seen before. I never saw an eclipse. Not, I mean, I've seen a partial, but nothing like this. This is really unique and uh, nothing like I saw in space. Space has this really cool visuals, right. but this is really amazing. You know, and I'm, I'm starting to hear the crickets. They're starting yeah, to come on yeah, out. Obviously, yeah. the street lamps. Um, this is just amazing. Now, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm also looking up to try to find the Big Dipper and some of the other stars, yeah, some of the other the, planets. Not for the clouds, likely. Right. And I'm like almost, I'm really mesmerized by this. This is, this is a spectacular event. We've had several solar storms that have been launched, and some of them have been launched from the left side of the sun. So we're actually seeing a difference from what the corona looked like in our predictions to what it looks like now. And then on top of that, we have ham radio operators all over the, the state right now who are making contacts that they haven't been able to make because the upper atmosphere is just all, all turbulent right now, and it affects the communication signal. So we've got GPS operators and ham radio operators doing a ton of science, and it's just so it's overwhelming. This, this is amazing. Now, my, my team of atmospheric science researchers from the University of Missouri, they are actually sending up uh, weather balloons here this afternoon to try to figure out you know, how the weather is changing at certain height levels and uh, actually here's a map of the, of the solar uh, radiation um, throughout the state of Missouri and you can kind of see how much solar radiation is hitting the surface of the earth here in Missouri. Um, just interesting. <laughs> this is amazing. It is. You can tell the crowd is just mesmerized. This is so cool. And you can even see the dips in the valleys as you can see little yes. areas of the sun where it's shining through more. Right. And those create the Bailey beads right. that we see as we become, we get out of totality, which right. is coming up here pretty soon. Right. Not uh, quite yet, though. Yeah. I think we uh, we come out of totality at uh, 1 15 35 local yeah. time. So yeah. we just have a few more seconds of that. Um, it's absolutely an amazing event. And again, we're so lucky that some of these high clouds were able to kind of fall apart, yeah, yeah. Kind of fall apart a little bit so we could experience Part this. For us, yes. And I can't believe we can actually see the corona through the clouds. Great. Okay, yeah. that's the air horn. We're coming out of totality. We're going so to have to end up going. So we need to put our, our safety in, in just the, glasses in back the, on. There we go. Great. Put your barely beans. There we go. we got to put the glasses back on. Oh, my okay. goodness. So, as you can see, we're coming out of totality here in Jefferson City, Missouri. Ladies, thank you so much You're for welcome. experiencing this with me. You're right. yes. Thank Quite you. Quite an experience. Thank yes, you Yes, it was. Much. Thank you. So, everyone's excited here in Jefferson City, Missouri. The sun's starting to come out a little bit. We're going to go ahead and send it back to Charleston. We should have stayed. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Eric. Yachty, wow. I, it's an amazing, like, I get goosebumps every time I see this. So I cannot imagine how it's going to be, you know, when we actually see it here in South Carolina. I mean, so, Alex, you know, I'm speechless, man. I mean, I, as a scientist, yeah. you got to, like, love this stuff, oh right? Oh, my God. And I, it's so great to hear that. I mean, I love hearing an experienced astronaut talk about how overwhelming it is, given the amazing things that she has seen, but also.